What happens when machines start to understand and generate human language so well that we can't tell them apart from humans? What are the implications when AI systems can analyze millions of private conversations, influence public opinion, or generate convincing fake news? Today, we're diving into the fascinating and sometimes unsettling world of ethics in natural language processing. Imagine waking up in a world where every email you write, every message you send, and every search you make is not just processed by AI, but deeply understood by it. In many ways, we're already living in that world. The question isn't whether AI will understand our language, it already does. The question is, how do we ensure this powerful technology benefits humanity while protecting our privacy, maintaining fairness, and promoting truth? Let's start with a story that shocked the tech world. In 2016, Microsoft released a chatbot named Tay on Twitter. Within 24 hours, Tay had to be shut down because it began posting inflammatory and offensive content, having learned from toxic interactions with users. This incident highlighted a crucial lesson. AI systems learn from the data we feed them, including our biases and prejudices. This brings us to our first major ethical challenge, bias in NLP systems. These biases don't appear out of nowhere, they're embedded in the data we use to train our models. When we train AI on human-generated text, we're not just teaching it language, we're inadvertently teaching it society's historical biases and prejudices. Consider a real-world example that made headlines, Amazon had to scrap an AI recruiting tool because it showed bias against women. The system had been trained on resumes submitted over a 10-year period, most of which came from men, a reflection of male dominance in the tech industry. As a result, the AI learned to penalize resumes that included the word women's or that listed all women's colleges. This isn't just a technical problem, it's a societal one. When AI systems absorb and amplify existing biases, they can perpetuate and even exacerbate social inequalities. A biased language model might generate more positive descriptions for certain demographic groups, provide better service to specific accents, or make unfair assumptions based on names or cultural references. But there's hope. Researchers and developers are working on various approaches to address bias. One method is to carefully curate training data to ensure better representation. Another is to implement debiasing techniques during model training. Some teams are even developing tools to actively detect and correct bias in model outputs. Take the case of gender bias in machine translation. When translating from languages that don't have gendered pronouns, like Turkish, to English, early systems would make assumptions based on stereotypes, translating, oh beer doktor, literally, that one is a doctor, as, he is a doctor, and, oh beer hemzire, that one is a nurse, as, she is a nurse. Modern systems now aim to maintain ambiguity when appropriate or provide multiple possible translations. But bias isn't the only ethical challenge we face. Privacy concerns have become increasingly urgent as NLP systems become more sophisticated. These systems process vast amounts of personal data, our emails, messages, social media posts, and search queries. They can analyze patterns in our language use, potentially revealing sensitive information about our thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors. Consider the implications of an AI system that can analyze your writing style so well it can identify you across different platforms, even when you're trying to remain anonymous. Or think about a system that can infer your mental state, political beliefs, or medical conditions from your social media posts. While such capabilities could have beneficial applications, like early detection of mental health issues, they also raise serious privacy concerns. The challenge of privacy in NLP goes beyond just protecting personal data. Modern language models can sometimes memorize portions of their training data. This means they might inadvertently reproduce sensitive information in their outputs. Imagine asking an AI for help writing a business proposal, and it generates text containing someone else's private information that was accidentally included in its training data. Researchers are developing various techniques to address these privacy concerns. One promising approach is federated learning, where models are trained on decentralized data that remains on users' devices. Another is differential privacy, which adds carefully calibrated noise to the training process to protect individual privacy while maintaining overall model performance. But perhaps the most pressing ethical challenge in modern NLP is the spread of misinformation. 
Language models have become so sophisticated that they can generate highly convincing fake news articles, impersonate real people online, or create misleading content at scale. This capability, combined with the speed at which information spreads online, poses a significant threat to public discourse and democratic processes. The problem goes beyond just generating fake content. NLP systems are also being used to optimize engagement on social media platforms, sometimes amplifying sensational or misleading content because it generates more clicks. They can be used to create armies of convincing bot accounts that manipulate public opinion or spread propaganda. The challenge of misinformation is particularly complex because it involves balancing competing interests. While we want to prevent the spread of harmful false information, we also need to protect free speech and avoid creating systems of censorship. Furthermore, determining what constitutes misinformation isn't always straightforward, even human experts often disagree on complex or emerging topics. Researchers and organizations are developing various approaches to combat AI-generated misinformation. These include watermarking techniques to identify AI-generated content, detection systems that can spot potential fake news, and approaches to make language models more truthful and accurate in their outputs. One particularly promising direction is the development of AI systems that can fact-check and verify information in real time. Imagine a system that can instantly cross-reference claims against reliable sources, providing users with context and verification as they consume content online. However, this raises its own questions. Who decides what sources are reliable? How do we handle evolving topics where the truth isn't yet clear? The use of NLP in surveillance and monitoring adds another layer of ethical complexity. These technologies can analyze communications at a massive scale, potentially identifying security threats or criminal activity. But they can also be used for invasive monitoring of individuals, suppression of dissent, or social control. Consider the implications of systems that can automatically analyze all communications within a company or organization. While this might help identify insider trading or harassment, it could also create a chilling effect on legitimate communication and violate reasonable expectations of privacy. Similarly, government use of NLP for surveillance raises serious questions about civil liberties and democratic values. The challenge of surveillance is particularly acute in the context of global communications. Different countries have different laws and cultural norms around privacy and surveillance. A system that's legal and accepted in one context might be considered a serious violation of rights in another. This creates complex challenges for organizations operating across international boundaries. Another critical ethical consideration is the environmental impact of NLP systems. Training large language models requires significant computational resources, consuming substantial amounts of energy, the carbon footprint of training a single large language model can be equivalent to the lifetime emissions of several cars. As these models continue to grow in size and complexity, their environmental impact becomes increasingly concerning. This raises important questions about the trade-offs between model performance and environmental sustainability. Do we really need larger and more powerful models? Could we achieve similar results with more efficient approaches? Researchers are exploring various solutions, from more efficient training methods to specialized hardware that consumes less energy. The question of accessibility and fairness is also crucial. While NLP technologies have enormous potential to benefit humanity, there's a risk that these benefits won't be distributed equally. Large language models require significant computational resources to train and run, potentially limiting their use to wealthy organizations and individuals. This could exacerbate existing digital divides and economic inequalities. Moreover, most current NLP systems work best in major world languages, particularly English. Speakers of less common languages might be left behind as these technologies advance. This isn't just about translation, it's about access to all the benefits these systems can provide, from educational tools to business applications. Researchers are working on various approaches to make NLP more accessible and inclusive. These include developing more efficient models that can run on less powerful hardware, creating techniques for training effective models with less data, particularly important for less resourced languages, and exploring ways to transfer knowledge between languages more effectively. The challenge of transparency and explainability is another crucial ethical consideration. Many modern NLP systems, 
particularly large language models, are essentially, black boxes. It's often unclear how they reach their conclusions or generate their outputs. This lack of transparency becomes particularly problematic when these systems are used for important decisions affecting people's lives. Imagine an NLP system being used to evaluate job applications or loan applications. If the system makes a negative decision, how can we ensure it was for valid reasons rather than hidden biases? How can we provide meaningful explanations to affected individuals? These questions become even more critical as NLP systems are integrated into higher stakes domains like healthcare and legal systems. The field of explainable AI, Zay, is working to address these challenges, developing techniques to make AI systems more transparent and interpretable. This includes methods for visualizing what parts of an input influenced a model's decision, techniques for generating human understandable explanations of model behavior, and approaches to testing and validating model decisions. Another important ethical consideration is the potential impact of NLP systems on employment and the economy. While these technologies can increase productivity and create new opportunities, they might also displace certain types of jobs. Tasks that primarily involve processing or generating text, from content writing to customer service, could be increasingly automated. However, the reality is likely to be more nuanced than simple job displacement. NLP technologies are more likely to transform jobs than eliminate them entirely. They might handle routine tasks while allowing humans to focus on more complex, creative, or emotionally intelligent aspects of work. The challenge is ensuring that this transition is managed in a way that benefits workers and society as a whole. The question of intellectual property and attribution is also becoming increasingly important. When an AI system generates text based on training data derived from human-created content, who owns the output? How do we ensure fair compensation for the creators whose work was used to train these systems? These questions become particularly complex when AI systems can generate content that's similar to, but not identical to, their training data. The issue of consent is closely related. When people post content online or communicate through digital platforms, they generally haven't explicitly consented to having their data used to train AI systems. Yet their data might be included in the massive datasets used to train large language models. How do we balance the need for training data with individuals' rights to control how their content is used? Looking ahead, we face the challenge of ensuring that NLP systems align with human values and interests. As these systems become more sophisticated, they might influence human behavior and decision-making in subtle but significant ways. The content they generate, the recommendations they make, and the way they interact with users could shape people's beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors. This raises important questions about accountability and control. Who is responsible when an AI system generates harmful content or makes biased decisions? How do we ensure these systems serve the public interest rather than just commercial or political interests? How do we maintain meaningful human oversight as these systems become more complex and autonomous? The development of ethical guidelines and regulatory frameworks is crucial. Many organizations and governments are working to establish principles and rules for the development and deployment of AI systems, including NLP technologies. These efforts need to balance innovation and progress with protection of individual rights and societal interests. Some key principles that are emerging include transparency, systems should be open about their capabilities and limitations accountability, clear responsibility for AI system behavior fairness, equal treatment and absence of discriminatory bias privacy, protection of personal data and user privacy safety, prevention of harm to individuals and society sustainability, consideration of environmental and social impacts but principles alone aren't enough. We need practical mechanisms for implementing and enforcing them. This might include, Technical standards for testing and validating NLP systems requirements for documentation and transparency audit procedures to check for bias and other issues certification processes for high-stakes applications clear procedures for handling complaints and addressing problems the role of education and public awareness is also crucial. As NLP systems become more integrated into our daily lives, people need to understand their capabilities, limitations, and potential risks. This includes not just technical understanding, but also awareness of privacy implications, potential biases, and how to interact with these systems responsibly. Regular human oversight and intervention remain essential. While NLP systems can be powerful tools, they shouldn't operate completely autonomously, 
particularly in high-stakes situations. Human judgment is crucial for verifying system outputs, catching and correcting errors, making ethical decisions, ensuring alignment with human values, providing emotional intelligence and empathy. The development of robust testing and evaluation frameworks is another priority. We need better ways to assess model performance across different demographic groups, test for potential biases, evaluate privacy protections, measure environmental impact, verify safety and reliability. International cooperation and standardization are increasingly important as NLP technologies cross national boundaries. We need frameworks that can address cross-border data flows, protect individual rights across jurisdictions, promote fair access to technology, prevent misuse and harmful applications, foster responsible innovation. The role of community engagement and stakeholder input cannot be overlooked. The development of ethical NLP systems should involve input from diverse communities, consideration of different cultural perspectives, engagement with affected groups, collaboration with domain experts, public dialogue and debate as we look to the future. The ethical challenges in NLP are likely to become more complex. New capabilities will bring new risks and challenges. Continued vigilance and adaptation of ethical frameworks will be essential. But there's also tremendous potential for positive impact. Ethically developed and deployed NLP systems could enhance communication and understanding across languages and cultures, improve access to information and education, support healthcare and scientific research, foster more inclusive and accessible technology, help address global challenges. The key is ensuring that we develop and deploy these technologies in ways that benefit humanity while protecting individual rights and promoting social good. This requires ongoing collaboration between technologists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public. In our next episode, we'll explore the future of NLP looking at emerging trends and possibilities. But as we've seen today, technical capabilities are only part of the story. The real challenge is ensuring that these powerful technologies serve human needs and values while avoiding potential harms. The future of NLP will be shaped not just by technical innovation, but by how we address these ethical challenges. By thoughtfully considering these issues and developing appropriate safeguards and guidelines, we can help ensure that NLP technologies contribute positively to human welfare and social progress. The ethical development of NLP isn't just about preventing harm, it's about actively promoting beneficial applications while maintaining human agency and dignity. As these technologies continue to advance, our ethical frameworks and governance mechanisms must evolve alongside them. Remember, the goal isn't to slow down innovation, but to ensure it proceeds in ways that benefit humanity as a whole. By addressing ethical challenges proactively, we can help create a future where NLP technologies enhance human capabilities while respecting human values and rights. End of Episode 3